stabbed you through the neck with the sword. Oh, what the... E-R-T. <laughs> uh, dead. You're dead. D-R-T, yep. So, um... A gug. <laughs> you watch Eragos come around the corner. He's running super fast. He's like abandoned any sense of defensive posture. <laughs> this skeleton is like holding his sword. He's preparing to strike, and he sees Eragos coming by, and he's just like, shoot! And Eragos just runs right into the point of the sword, and like half of his tracheotomy, he gets like half traked, and like there's a piece of his esophagus out. And he looks at you guys horrified, and he, like, tries to hold his throat in, and there's just blood coming everywhere as he falls into the pool, gasping. <laughs> a gug. That's we may perfect. have two new characters tonight. This really sucks, because uh, Eridos had, like, a pretty good backstory. <laughs> uh... <sighs> but before you go rolling up a character, oh! Eridos, I'll probably give you one safety blanket. Holy shit! Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's a it's oh, a double fuck. crit. Let's see it. Can, the, you can these two. It. Come on, can we do it? Oh, 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 oh really? No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Oh no, that's a that's a four plus four is an eight to hit. Yeah, nope. Dang, that would have been so nice, but still ten points. Yeah, you get a I solid hit. Okay. I think the audience is going wild. They're all like, Dan died again. Revenge crit. And I will five foot away from him. All right. I think at the end of your turn, you're going to fall unconscious, right? Uh, at the end of my turn, I will fall unconscious, yes. But I will still five foot away from him. All right, so... I, I got my start, smack please. in, Bubba. Let's see here. Um, yep. Okay, so you fall unconscious and you lose one hit point. Okay. So, Duraga, like, you're watching Eridos, like, choking to death on his own blood in the water, and, like, a gug slashes this guy beautifully. Steps back towards you, and then immediately just collapses on the ground. You can see a <laughs> of blood coming from his mouth. <laughs> Things are looking pretty bad. Nice. That was awesome. It was worth it. <clears throat> All right. Tell you what, a gug and Duraga roll d twenties. Wait, and me? Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant Smith and Duraga. Oh. Yep. My bad. Sorry, Craig. Okay. The the two people left alive. Okay, roll d twenties again. <laughs> what about Babu? No, no Babus. All right, Smith. This guy advances. He takes a five foot step towards you. And he is like, you will be joining your friends shortly. And my shame! And then he, like, uses his sword once again. It'll just like the pommel of it, punching you in the face with it. And following up with the claw strike. So what is your AC? It is 18. Oh, nice! Okay, so he tries to beat down on you. But I guess you get your shield in the way. And, uh... There's a lot of clamoring noises going on. The fight is immensely loud. Eridos is like half under the water right now with blood still leaking out everywhere. We get like an Eridos cam where you see like a red misty version of the fight from under the water. <laughs> Smith. This guy has made me very, very angry. Smash him. I can five foot step. You said the water is not difficult terrain. Yep. Go ahead. All right. Where's my macro? Okay. 12. Nope. Hmm. I am angry. So angry I'm missing. So you lash out at him. He holds up the claw as you're coming in, and your attack slows down in time for him to easily step out of the way. I like how no one's knowledge religion these guys yet. Even though they're not acting like normal skeletons. Don't have knowledge religion. Does that mean don't have knowledge religion? <laughs> Man, I'm glad we're not playing Mummy's Mask. <laughs> 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 nope, they are not natural. They're clearly not natural. All right. Duraga. 
All right. Um, Babu is still on the attack, so let's let him go. Oh, well, Gibbons uh, can't handle my shit because he misses with everything. Oh, he with a flank? He's flanking. Yeah, wait, he's flanking. Both claw attacks hit. All right. Do they do bludgeoning damage? Nope. They're claws. They zero points of damage. Well, right. claws oh. do slashing and bludgeoning. Okay. Do they? Yeah. That's what uh, I was going to ask. I assume they were slashing. I think that is correct. Okay. Sweet. Claw. Claws deal six points of damage. All right. And then I will... Uh, what would I be carrying? I would be carrying my short sp spear again, so I will drop that and then cast Cure Light Wounds as a spell for two on a Gug. Okay. Hey, he's stable now. And then I will draw the wand. So what happens is the skeleton is so busy dealing with Smith that Babu starts going to town on his ankles. Oh, um, correction. Bite does bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. Claw yes. does bashing and slashing. Bludgeoning and slashing. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, Thank bite you. does all three, but the bite didn't connect. I thought. Right. right. All right. Okay. Good to know. Gyarados. <laughs> Dead. The Gug, you're unconscious. What about that safety? Uh... You got two hit points I back. Got two. Okay. Yeah. Two. Sweet. Gyarados are now official. Like. Like, officially, officially? Yeah, like, we see, like, your ghost departing your body, and you're, like, watching the fight as you're being dragged up to the boneyard. Uh, we'll so... come back to that scene in a minute. So, uh -huh. when you're being dragged up to the boneyard, who's the first person you see there? Uh, the first person I see there... I'm trying to think who died recently. I think yeah. I might see my mother. Okay. Your mother well, my mother's and been dead. Hattori Hanzo were standing there. Oh. And both are very disapproving. Your mother's like, I can't believe you would go off and get yourself killed, young man. You had so much left. Hattori Hanzo was like, you did not listen to my teachings. You must always put yourself first, Eridos. Stop trying to be a hero. Well, come with me, come with me. And your mother's just like, would you like a sandwich? It's a long line. There's several billion people ahead of us. <laughs> do they have sandwiches here? They do. They have infinite sandwiches. <laughs> They're just not very good. <laughs> Everything tastes like sand. Um, so let's like, see here. Are they so vending like... machine sandwiches, or are they English vending machine sandwiches? <laughs> I'm thinking now that you said it, it's English vending machine sandwiches. Gas right. station vending machine sandwich. So this guy goes into a berserk rage and continues to try to lay into Smith, but uh, fails to do so, and then moves to here in the process. Smith. Hmm. I'm not likely to get a flank anytime soon. So um, I wanted to, to just say, like, there's going to be advanced flanking rules. Basically, all you have to do is be on the other side of a target. So if Babu five foot steps to here, you'd be flanking. Oh, that's nice. Given that we have so many people relying on flanking, I'm not going to dick around with, like, advanced 3D biometric rules. Should I go ahead and try to make a new character then? Nope. Nope. We're not discarding the Arado storyline, friend. You'll be back. Ah. <laughs> oh, good. Um, good. There's no way of knowing how hurt this thing is, is there? You can make a heal check. Would that count as some kind of action? A free action. Okay. Uh, this is my all wisdom skills uh, macro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he yeah, is you invulnerable. You know you haven't seen that many skeletons before, so it's... I mean, obviously this has taken a lot more than the other ones, but it still seems to be relatively intact. Ugh. And fighting defensively is minus four to hit? Yes. Okay, no, screw... Minus two, right? I thought it was two for... Two yeah, for two. four. Yeah, two for two four. For four. Okay, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna delay for Babu to get into position. Okay, move me after Duranga. <laughs> Duranga. 
<laughs> uh, you're right. You do take a minus four to get plus two AC. All right, Durango, you're up. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to poke a gug with the wand of cure like wounds. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing the roulette of Dan's this time. I, this is a new <laughs> one, Dan. I, you know, I've seen you die at the end of books. I've never seen you die in the first chapter of a book. Thanks. <laughs> that means a lot. The new record. That was an amazing. Two record. deaths. Two deaths in three days. That's got to be something. All right, Babu will continue to attack. So Babu just five foot steps forward and continues the pain train. God, he can't roll for that bite to pipe, save pipe, his pipe, life. Pipe, pipe. But uh, <laughs> he does. Yeah, really he's got this guy. Sixteen and a fifteen. And he says in common, he's like a cursed cat. You will join your master shortly. Wait. My shame. Is the Gug appear to be awake now? Yes. Okay. So the Gug, you dropped your weapon. It's on the floor in front of you. Uh, I think you saw Eridos die, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So he was like dead you're looking up there. He stopped moving at this point. Yeah. The battle seems to have progressed a bit without you. All right. You do enough damage to shatter this guy. Like all the other ones, uh, he drops straight to the ground, leaving his armor intact and his weapons. The, the katana, sorry, Wakazashi, perfectly rotates in the air. It almost seems supernatural to land hilt up straight into the water. So, like, it's just like a foot of blade uh, in a perfect line. It... I mean, it could be exceptionally lucky, but seems a little Not weird. Done. What are you guys' thoughts, having seen Eridos go down? I'd immediately rush over and make a heal check. He's dead. <laughs> yeah. There he's he's dead, Jim. Stand up. Get up. Stand up. Uh, no! Then I'd drag him out of the water to make sure our goblin yeah. ears don't get wet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll check so the... Cool. Uh, Check I feel like that's what sword. he would have wanted. So practical. <laughs> but it's what he would have wanted. Yep, it's what he would have wanted. Look at the armor and the sword. Do they seem... Yeah, the the armor um, seems broken. It's broken masterwork chainmail. The sword... Went... Who's touching the sword? And can Nobody. make a perception I, check? I did. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, when you touch the sword, the sword immediately begins glowing blue very briefly and then stops. You look over the sword. It's a sword. It's a sword. It's blue. No, it no. Blue. It, it glows blue for just a second. That's what I said. It's, it's, it turned blue. Yep. So when I was detecting magic, do I get Ooh. a spellcraft or anything? Oh, yeah. It's definitely magic. 100%. And the gug says, hey, 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 hey. Drops it on the ground. It turned blue. <laughs> Stop that. Pick it up again and see what happens. <laughs> Who's picking it up? I'm encouraging a gug, our currently All most right, injured I'll, creature. I'll pick it up again. Our party member. Okay, nothing happens. What was that? Blue blue? No blue. Uh oh. Are you going to make a spellcraft to determine uh, the yeah. magical properties of this? Yes. This is an 18. <laughs> Okay, you can't identify it. You know it's a plus one uh, Wakazashi. Other than that, okay. it has more magical properties that you're unable to determine. Okay. Can you make a perception sure check while you're looking it over? But of course. Okay, Ooh, snap. you look very closely and you notice that there is a hidden compartment on the hilt of the blade. It's actually openable. All right. Does anybody want to detect this hidden compartment for traps? Sure. Although the guy who couldn't find it in the first place, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. I can do that. Take right? that. Oh, Take that. that. <laughs> you look it over. You detect no traps. Right. It looks all good to me. All right. Before you open it, I'm gonna give you a wand of cure light. <laughs> who in their right mind would trap their own sword? Uh, <laughs> the dead guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Open it up. What happens? Okay. Inside is a miniature mithril scroll tube. It seems to be worth about 100 gold pieces. Nice. 
And inside the scroll tube. Oh, okay, you open it without checking for traps. I was going to say, are there traps on this scroll tube? <laughs> I memorized burning hands today. <laughs> <laughs> inside is a letter. Oh, it's so uh, tiny. Eridos could read this. Uh, actually, a gug, when you're looking at it, you're able to read it even though it's in TN. Oh. So you're looking at it and you like see a transposition. You see like two things at once. Can you make a perception check on this piece of paper? Yeah, 19. You notice that there is an image of a castle and the word Brinewall. You can make a knowledge history or a local check. No one has either? Okay. Uh, Wait, what was it? said local. I... Well, we've, we've discussed this several times, but we've never settled it. I had stuck a skill point in Wainwright to have a skill point open if we needed it, but I was going to um, allocate that, and I have never done so. No one has knowledge of local. I so, think you can put it at your level up. Just, you can... just put, okay, just re okay. relocate it at level up? All right, so then I do not have it. Because it's so terrible to read, I'm actually going to read it out loud in a totally right. uh, racist voice. Again, I'm looking to steal this directly from Jackie Chan Adventures. So uh, if you have any complaints, please send them once again to my producer, Brian Williams at NBC. <laughs> 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 oh, my son, my heir, you know now that I have kept many secrets from you. You were always so perceptive, son, and while you may not understand my reasons for secrecy, I hope that you realize it was necessary. Know that I was not angry with you for opening the warding box. I was angry with myself for withholding the truth from you. And forcing you to seek what I should have given you. The words I spoke, you were from anger within myself, and it shames me to think of them now. I write this note as an apology, and beg you, leave the secrets to history. The next few days will be the most important I have ever faced in many years. If our family's enemies have, as I hope, Forgotten us. I shall reunite with you and your wife. Your mother and I shall reveal the truth to you. But if they still seek the contents of the warding box, I fear I may not speak to you again. The box holds our family's greatest treasure. So I have returned to Corton's care. And it shall remain hidden in the third secret vault under Brinewall Castle, obscured from our enemies. I hope and pray I will not grant our foes the satisfaction of killing me themselves. If it comes to that, let my death be by my own hand, be my final act to protect you, so that our enemies will believe our line has ended. I have instructed Sutama to keep the letter for you, delivering it to you only should I fail to return, as I hope to. If I can, I will reveal all to you myself. I cannot. This missive will be from a father to son that will suffice as an apology in place of explanation. You must destroy this letter. Flee south and never return to Brinewell. If our enemies find what I have hidden there, there will be nothing here for you. If they do not, we'll lie and wait forever for your return. I hope to see you soon, my son, but my heart tells me I will not. I am sorry to have failed you, but I am very proud of you, and I know you will survive this old man's shame. You are strong, and you must remain so. For if you are reading this letter and I am gone, Know that our enemies will never stop searching for you, for us. And that is why I cannot reveal to you the truth until I know there is no chance of them finding us again. Rokuru Kaijitsu. Sunday, 29 Desnes, 4687. 
I would say, does anyone have knowledge local? But you don't. Does anyone have knowledge nobility? I had nobility. <laughs> what about history? Nope. Okay, so this letter doesn't mean a whole lot to you. I think we Other should than the take fact this that letter a dog to Koya. can mysteriously read it. Which is amazing. Um, so what are I think you guys we should doing in this room? Uh, check that chest. Oh, you're going to check the chest. Interesting. Yeah. Don't mind yeah. me. I'll just be bleeding out in the corner. <clears throat> so the chest isn't just magic or anything, has right? Has 20 if it's a trap. The chest... 19 if it's not. ...is not magical, but it has a number of magic items inside it. Right. Traps? Uh, it is not trapped, as far as you can tell. Take a look around the room. You look closer. Uh, you, in fact, see that there is a key hanging around the skeleton that fell in the water's neck. <laughs> hey, guys, I found a key. You know who else had a key? Eridos. You guys <laughs> seem <laughs> you guys seem to be taking his death very lightly. I mean, what else are we going to do? Excuse me, there's not much we can do now. We can't leave a skeleton to savage this town of Sandpoint. We need to finish what we did here and then take him back and have him resuscitated. Yep, we'll take him back to town. So does the key fit the chest? It does. Okay, unlock the it then. chest seems to be worth about 250 gold pieces in its undamaged state. Somebody taken. Inside notes. there are a number of items that uh, are pushed into its velvet interior. There are 10 potions, a ring that has uh, runes on it. All of the runes are in like red fire. Very clearly magical. There is a uh, like a long bone, like a human forearm. A Masterwork Chain Shirt, a Masterwork Cold Iron Wakazashi, 11 Desna Candles, and 4 Skyrockets. There's also 3,820 silver pieces, 421 gold pieces, and fine jewelry, which can be sold for full price at 560 gold pieces. Wow. Could you put all that last bit in yeah. yeah. There were two Wakazashi in there? Nope. There's, there's a magic... There's a magic one and a masterwork one total. Yeah, one, there's a masterwork one and one in the chest. Yeah, there's a cold <laughs> iron one. There's and the one that's currently regular. like uh, Eridos's esophagus has a uh, pretty good impression of it pressed into it. <laughs> wow. And then there's the non magic one. Okay. But will Eridos rise to wield the weapon that slayed him? Only time will tell. That dun, dun, would be dun, dun, dun. I wish you would poetic. say that at like as that happens, we get the uh, break time for commercial because we're actually at break time. So Dude, you're that like, can be your bumper. You're like looking over his body and you're like shedding a tear and Babu's like sitting quietly next to you and you're like, Will Eridos ever rise? And there's like <laughs> lots of bass drum lines and then we're like out. <laughs> Alright. So I mean we still got like a minute or two. We'll get around to uh, bring the rise of Eridos and all that stuff. How are you guys feeling about the campaign so far with all this weird shit happening? I like Tough. it. Aside from the whole dying thing, pretty good. Having 11 hit points sucks. I mean, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's level 1. We're enduring, as all level 1s. I was level 2. <laughs> yeah, I find it very hilarious that you managed to stay at the lowest hit points, be the most suicidal, and be the <laughs> highest level. <laughs> see, so, see, the problem was, I was playing it like a paladin. Yeah, I mean... But I'm I not was, a paladin. <laughs> the problem is, you can't remember that you're squishy. <laughs> nope, that I cannot. <laughs> Like, wait, I'm squishy. I shouldn't just charge in no matter how. You were rushing in to save a Gug's life, right? And yep. you heard him go yep. down. That was some yep. go team shit right there. Yeah. yeah. It Gug's was Valiant Sacrifice. A... For all the good it did. Smith, well, what are yeah. your thoughts here? Well, 
you know, I've just lost the person in this party I genuinely care about. Um, <laughs> Will you be the and, one who carries his body back to town? I probably. I have more strength than anybody else. Okay. Well, um, we can we can roll him up in a blanket and tie him on a pole so that we can <clears throat> turns helping you out. So that it, said, it won't stop me from taking that masterwork chain shirt. All right, so we have so much to reveal. Uh, Ameko will probably have much to say when you get back um, and reveal all this information. We'll see on our return. Boom. Oh, that's the wrong one. I got to reboom it. Sorry, guys. Double boom. There we go. We'll be back in about eight minutes, guys. <laughs>